Welcome to another episode of Third and Three with Coach Roger Holmes. I'm Jason Holcomb, joined as always by the coach. Coach, after six quarters of football between Dublin and Charlton County, it was still tied, but thankfully, 12 points in the third, 29 points in the fourth, we put them away. Talk about what happened between the first half and the second half that got us that big win. Well, we had just some mental mistakes in the first half, broke down on some protections. Uh, this wasn't clean on offense. Thank goodness our defensive uh, football team yes. kind of kept us kept us in the game till we got, had an opportunity to get to halftime, make a couple of small adjustments. Uh, but reality is, we just played better, made uh, some nice plays. Our quarterback uh, ran ran and read the triple option very very well the other night. So that was a plus for us. And uh, <clears throat> you know, at the end of the day, we woke up made some big plays and I think uh, you know the young man that kind of brought us back to life a little bit was Damari Foster. Well coach we're gonna find out who our Optum Player of the Week is and could it be Damari Foster? Could be. All right, Coach, you talked about that spark plug. He was that spark. He's always had that possibility. He's done that for us in the past. Talk about Damari and, and what he's going to mean to us as we head into this stretch run. Well, Damari was a returning 1,000-yard rusher, and he'd gotten off to a slow start. Now, we'd moved him fullback to one of the running back positions, and I think he had 70-something yards total and 20-something carries. Actually, we went with Willie Bats the week before in that spot, and Willie went out there and put up over 100. Well, Damari got back in the other night, and, and you know, we were in this catapult GPS tracking system. We had a young man a couple of weeks ago went 21.9 mile per hour, and when we checked on that, uh, that was Bats. The guys that sell the catapult stuff said 21.7 or whatever it was is an elite for uh, time, speed. Well, Damari ran 22-3 the other night wow. in that game, and, that, and that's certainly uh, that's extremely me fast. You. So, uh, you know, we, we're getting to the point, I think, where our offensive line is starting to get a little bit better. The weather's cooled off a little bit. Uh, practice tempo seems to be a little bit better, but it better be with what we got coming. <laughs> Yes, sir. We want to thank our folks from Optum for giving us the chance to celebrate our Player of the Week each and every week. Be sure to tell them thank you when you see them. They, we, we can't count on our fingers how many times they've been able to provide us service and support. Really appreciate them. But, Coach, no time to talk about anything else except what's happening now, which is region football for all but one week over the next five weeks. And we get one of our biggest tests of the year with the Royals coming in to Shamrock Bowl. Well, Blackley County's ranked number five in the state, and I think they're ranked that uh, high for a reason. You know, I think people thought Blackley was going to be down a little bit this year. They graduated a big senior class. Well, when you look around, they're playing a ton of seniors again. They didn't, you know, they, they didn't have to rebuild. They just reloaded uh, offensively. Man, they've got a lot of weapons, a lot of guys making a lot of plays for them. I think it all starts with their quarterback. Uh, and number one for them is just a phenomenal. If you give him a crease, he's going to house call it. And defensively, they've always defended us extremely tough. And uh, it'll be it'll be one of those nights where if we're not on our P's and Q's and playing great football, uh, we'll have a hard time beating Blackley County. I just want to make this disclaimer that pretty pretty much any time you run across a number one on a team, they're probably going to be pretty quick. Uh, that, that was yeah, that's quick. probably that's probably <laughs> true. <laughs> but we want you guys to come out to Shamrock Bowl. It's Friday night, 7.30 kickoff. But before that, we're going to be doing a lot of breast cancer awareness festivities. 6.45, we're going to be a, doing a survivor walk out at the track. We want you guys to come and support all of the people who have been affected by breast cancer and who have triumphed over it. We also want to honor those who uh, passed on from the disease. And we want to thank Miss Maritza O'Neill, who happens to be also a football mama to, to two of our young men in Micah and Malachi. Uh, she orchestrated pretty much all of the festivities mm -hmm. you're going to see Friday night. That's phenomenal. That, you know, it's, there's not many families out here that that hasn't touched in some shape, form, or fashion. And, and we're, uh, you know, last week, our coaching staff had some ribbons on, the gold ribbons for childhood cancer, and uh, 
just don't be afraid to, to support it. Yes. We want you guys this week to not be afraid to wear pink out here. Yes, we're green and gold, but we want you guys to fill up the stands full of pink. It's going to be a pink out. Come be a pink out with us. Wear your shirts. Come support the Irish. And as always, this has been 3rd and 3 with Coach Roger Holmes.